Well, hello, Ann Brucker, Google Certified Innovator and Authorized Education Trainer, here to share my breakout EDU game with you. Fraction Frenzy, primarily written for fourth graders, though adaptable up or down, will help students to extend their understanding of fraction equivalence and ordering. Students will use these puzzles to see why a fraction is equivalent to another fraction by using visual fraction models, as well as recognize and generate equivalent fractions. You'll have two options for setting up this game, one with printable puzzles and one with digital puzzles. The digital version will not only save you paper, but it will also allow students to learn and explore various Google apps for education, such as drawings, slides, and sheets. If you wish to skip to the directions for this setup, move the video's timer to 4 minutes and 24 seconds. To set up the printable game, you're going to print out the puzzles as they are instructed at the bottom of the slide. These slides are included in the digital resource section of this breakout. For puzzle 1, Garden Plots, students will complete a form that can be accessed by either a QR code, which could be printed on the back of the puzzle, or by accessing the shortened URL written in invisible ink on the back of the puzzle. Completion of the form will lead to the combination of the three-digit lock. You can either print pages 1 and 2 back to back so that the QR code ends up on the back side of page 1, or you can skip printing page 2 and simply write the shortened URL in invisible ink on the back side of the page. Either way, cut on the line to separate Puzzle 1 from Puzzle 2. Assign a station for this puzzle. Students will need a Chromebook or other computer with access to the internet. In the area where this puzzle will be played, lay out the printed garden plot along with the QR code or invisible ink URL. Now for puzzle two, match equivalent fractions, students will draw lines from the fractional representation on the left side to its match on the right. The letters that do not get crossed off spell the word that will open the five letter combination lock. Cut and laminate, if you wish, one copy of this puzzle and use it with dry erase markers or print multiple copies for students to use as consumables. In the area where this game will be situated, have either the laminated copy of the puzzle along with a dry erase marker, eraser, and ruler or straight edge, or have the printed copies of the puzzle along with pencils and a ruler or straight edge. For puzzle three, what's missing and what's there, students will identify the missing numerators and denominators in the equivalent fractions. They will color in the corresponding numbers on the grid, which is page four. The colored letters will then spell out the word for the four letter word lock. Print and laminate if you wish, and then cut apart one copy of page three, and then print multiple copies, enough for each student to have one of page four. At this station, have the laminated copies of the fraction puzzles, a dry erase marker and eraser, some crayons or colored pencils, as well as enough multiple cut apart copies of page four for each student to have one. For puzzle four, what do you call? You have a couple of options. Since you'll be using computers to complete the form for garden plots anyway, you can print and use the top half of page five. Either cut out the pattern block shapes for students to use or have some pattern blocks available. Set these near a computer that will not be busy with students who are working on puzzle one. If you want to have a more kinesthetic puzzle, you'll use option two, where students will use the printed grid to identify the fractional relationships. The corresponding if-then statements at the bottom of the grid will reveal the combination to the color-coded directional lock. If you opt for this version, print multiple copies and leave just the bottom half at the station with some pattern blocks or the cutout shapes. Alternately, print one copy and laminate it and use with dry erase markers. The top portion won't be needed if you're using option two. If you're doing the printable version of the game, print multiple copies of the lock tracker, single-sided and just enough for each student to have one. If you're using the digital puzzles, print multiple copies of pages six and seven. This will be the lock tracker along with the website printed on the back. Next, you're going to set up the locks. Use the four letter lock and set it to the combination play. Using the five letter lock, set the combination to lines. The three digit lock will be set to combination seven, eight, nine. And for the directional lock, Use colored stickers or maybe even nail polish to color code the lock. Set the combination to red, blue, green, yellow, which translates to up, 
right, down, left. Fill the box with anything you want to be in there, whether that's the discussion cards, prizes, the We Broke Out certificate, or anything else you want to end with. Place the hasp on the box and attach the four locks. Next, divide students into four groups and instruct them to either move to a station or to get their computers and sit with their group members. Either way, encourage them to work together to solve the problems. Remind them to record their solutions, in other words, the combinations, on the lock tracker sheet. After 45 minutes have elapsed, even if not everyone has finished every puzzle, gather them all back together and discuss how they discovered the combinations and what they are. Invite a group to come forward and work together to remove one of the locks. Continue with all of the groups until all of the locks have been removed. You determine at the beginning how the box will be open, calmly, either by a single student you draw, a group of students, or by yourself. When the box has been opened and the prizes are revealed, or not, be sure to take the time to debrief, either using the breakout discussion cards or any other method deemed appropriate for your fourth graders or intermediate level students. Above all though, have one whole heck of a lot of fun.